The aim of art is not only to represent the outward appearance of things, but their inward significance. On Art House today, we are going to see artists who are very passionate about being the change they want to see. So it's no longer art for art's sake. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Stay with us. Art itself is a reflection of the life of the people. The art that we create is helping to give our people self-identity. Femme Fatale that's the title of the fourth edition of a female art exhibition in Lagos, featuring original works produced by eight artists. As expected, the theme has women on it. They also work with an array of media. Femme Fatale is um, arguably a bad woman, a woman who has um, a tendency to create scandal and uses her feminine wiles to get men to do things. Um, for me, what inspired me was um, Eve. The title of my work is Eve Metamorphosed. It's, um, it's an installation. And I believe all women, from, in my opinion, all women, um, shall I say, evolved from the first woman, Eve. And in spite of, despite the fact that we have um, many more challenges now, we look different, we have longer hair maybe, we wear clothes, we don't dress up in leaves and all that. But we are still basically the same with um, challenges and our inner emotions and thoughts. We learn a lot from women around South America. So I've been inspired by how old tradition can be transformed into a contemporary aspect. So basically I've been traveling a lot and I've been meeting a lot of women that pass me this information about the waving. And I just decided to take it out of their contest and make something new out of it. Tina Debowale uses mixed media in these paintings titled Naked Truths. They explore the politics and sexuality of the female gender through issues such as rape and other forms of abuse she experiences daily and how the society is not taking a firm stand to protect the girl child. Then there are pictures from Genevieve Akan, a documentary photographer who looks at the masked woman. If I tell someone I'm a photographer, they look at me like, hmm? Like, really? You know why? Because they feel like women, we can't do anything. We can't photograph, we can't paint. You know, but it's more into that, we can do that. So I want that to change. Like, if I say I'm a photographer, respect me for my job. Look at what I'm about to produce or what I've produced. Because I'm more than what you see. If you give me that opportunity or that chance. As an artist and as a female artist, don't look for acceptance. All I can tell you is be yourself. You have one life to live on earth and you have to make the most of it. Just be yourself. If people accept you, fine. If they don't accept you, fine. Know what you want to do. Know what story you want to tell. Believe in yourself. Believe in God. And don't ever take no for an answer. Just as the title suggests, there are several pictures showing a lady wearing a mask by the dining table or in the parlor. There's also a lovely black dress and a pair of shoes, indicating the woman's ability to multitask. Yet in the heat of it all, she remains calm and submissive. I had to make, create about 100 flowers, paper flowers. And you can imagine my studio slash sitting room filled up with flowers and my three children playing around. I screamed so much, you know. But it's, and then you know, you have the other challenges about taking care of the ch children, um, caring for them, their needs, providing their meals, dropping them in school, and still um, expressing yourself creatively. It's a huge challenge, but you see, one thing that I've also come to realize is that when you have an, an idea, it continues to eat at you, and you have to find the time 
to let that idea out, otherwise it's, it will burn inside. And this picture was also put into a performance, showing a single woman who is lonely and trying to cope with the stigmatization that comes with this status in the African society. The women need to be given a chance, especially when it comes to art. Because uh, years back, you know, when a girl child said, I want to be an artist, you know, in a home, they just feel like, oh, you'll be useless, you won't make money. You know, there's more to that, you know. Women need to be given that opportunity or that chance to, to, for them to create what they have in mind. And I think this platform is it's going to be a big thing, like, for women. You know, it's going to challenge other women and also to be a voice to them. There are so many things on Karima Shaju's mind, as depicted in this HD digital film, in which a chance meeting with a stranger turns into a heart-to-heart -heart talk about issues that affect women. I was inspired by a lady called Sarah Bartman, and she was taken from South Africa in the 19th century. She was exhibited in human zoos in London and in Paris. She was turned into a sex slave and she was basically paraded around like an animal behind cages. When she died, they cut out her brain and her genitals and they put it in jars and put it in a museum. So I was inspired to tell her story because that still happens today. Young women all around the world are still being trafficked and are still being mutilated, are still being used as sex slaves. So I wanted to tell this story to raise awareness of that. I find it strange that we want to be somebody else. We want to have other people's hair. We want to want to look like, want to dress like, you know, instead of trying to find out who we are, what we are comfortable with, and then um, be that person. You know, so it's, I'm kind of making uh, a jest of the way women tend to behave these days, you know, the way we dress. Other artists like Elysia Bolorushi are also inspired by movies. It shows in her concept called Fia Kuta, a weaving method which originated from the need to use yarn as an alternative tool for painting. The constant is the yarn. I always work with thread, wool, fabric as an alternative tool for painting. And basically I'm mo basically focused on geometry. That's my main subject. So it's color and geometry. So I started painting with yarn. I started doing sculpture with yarn. And then I started inserting light, so developing actually installation with uh, lamps. We were charged with the uh, femme fatale uh, theme, and literally we wanted to go back to our roots. We were originally, uh, we're originally from Delta State. Uh, by Shakiri. So Umalakum was um, has she, an, you she's, know, a, she's a Shakiri yeah. deity. Um, she's uh, prayed to by men. She's, uh, she's also called the kingmaker. So she actually exists across numerous uh, traditions across uh, the southern region of Nigeria. She's known as Mami Water. Mm -hmm. that's, that's basically Umalakum, who is the ultimate femme fatale figure. Um, and we, we thought to express this through costume, um, which we interpreted as modern masquerade. Um, so so there, there, there's, a lot, there's a lot of symbolism in the piece. Um, it's just an, you know, it's a dialogue between the concept of this femme fatale figure as she exists in this Malokun deity and her dialogue with the everyday woman. You know, we all have a bit of that femme fatale in us. Uh, our particular medium is textiles and garments. So literally, we, we use that to uh, give life to this uh, concept of the femme fatale. And there are so many interesting interpretations seen through the eyes of four other minds who are hoping to change the fortunes of women for the better or at least call attention to some of these issues with their works of art. We pause for a moment and take a quick break. When we return, it's off to the National Theatre for a performance titled One Kingdom, One Monarch. So don't go anywhere.
born in 1930 in Mai, a rural village in Owan local government area, Edo State. He worked and lived in Ketu, Nigeria. At the age of 20, he pursued a future in photography, which was out of the ordinary for people in Nigeria, especially those in his village. Twenty-two airports around the country, an industry that generates billions of naira, connecting millions for business and leisure, will put you through the paces and give you an insider's view on the aviation industry. Watch Aviation This Week only on Channels Television. Aviation This Week, keeping an eye on the aviation industry. This performance at the National Theatre in Lagos was twofold. A reading session and a play titled One Kingdom, One Monarch, performed by the students of the University of Lagos. Under the direction of Joshua Alabi, the students perform an excerpt of this traditional play which is set in the 18th century about a friendship gone sour owing to a minor disagreement. I am sure you all know Obe is a great man. What you probably do not know is that his coming here is an act of faith. It is his faith that I will one day be his victim. We will be at war and he will execute me after his will. Oba Akebuda has great admiration for the leader of his army, General Ogwe, because of his strength and courage. But suddenly, that love gets lost after a quarrel leads to a needless war that takes many casualties. 